The PlayStation Store is kicking off yet another sale with the PlayStation Plus double discount sale. Now, this sale is a little bit strange because Sony and the PlayStation Store are advertising it as a save up to 20% or up to 40% as a PlayStation Plus subscriber. What you're going to notice is with a lot of these games, you're saving a lot more than 40%. So I don't exactly know what the marketing strategy is here, considering some of these games are 60, 70, even 80% off. I don't know if I'm missing anything, whatever the case may be, I just want to get into to the deals and cover everything that you need to know. Quite a few deals are available as a part of this sale. And before we get into everything, I just want to remind you guys to make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so you are always notified of uploads. And that definitely helps out the channel too, so we always appreciate that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And I want to start things off with mentioning Batman Arkham Knight. That is down to just $5.99, while the premium edition is down to $11.99. Really good deal for Batman Arkham Knight a game that I did have my issues with back at launch. I did think this was the weakest game in the Batman Arkham series, but overall still thought it was pretty good, and me saying it's the weakest isn't really saying much, and by the way, I say that about the main trilogy of Batman titles. Arkham Origin is kind of an offshoot game, and I do think Arkham Knight was better than that title. However, $6 for it, nonetheless, is awesome. Black Desert, the standard edition, is down to $14.99. That's a great deal if you do want to get into BDO. The deluxe edition is $25. The ultimate edition is a stack staggering $50, so probably would stay away from that. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition is down to $14.99, and I would say that's a really good deal. Given that that is Borderlands 1, I could see why some people would be adverse to picking that up. However, I still think it's a good deal all around. Borderlands 1 was a really good game, and that's a relatively recent release. We got Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition back in April, I believe. So $15 for that, not all too bad, especially if you don't want to shell out the full, you know, $60, or even if you're getting it for $45, Borderlands 3 is still relatively expensive. Couple of the Call of Duty games are on sale. Advanced Warfare is discounted. The gold edition of that is down to $18. Call of Duty Ghost is discounted as well. Probably wouldn't really recommend that. Castlevania Requiem Symphony of the Night Ron and Rondo of Blood is down to $9.99. Those are two Castlevania classics. I mean, Symphony of the Night is a phenomenal game, and people look at that as one of, if not the best Castlevania title. Rondo of Blood is fantastic as well, and if you want to make an argument that that's one of the better Castlevania titles, you won't hear any argument from me. $9.99 for that is really good. City Skylines is seeing a discount. The Mayor's Edition is down to $40, while the Premium Edition 2 is down to $28. Relatively expensive, but you do get a bunch of additional content with that. Contra Anniversary Collection is down to $9.99. Rogue Core, which just came out, is down to $28. Control, one of my favorite games recently, is down to $42. That game is phenomenal. I really dug what Remedy did with that. Obviously, because it's a Remedy title, the narrative is really interesting. I would say it's very strong, although a little bit jumbled at times. It's very interesting and might be a little bit off-putting to some people, but overall, I thought it was great. And really, the standout to control to me was the gameplay. I was shocked at how good the gameplay is, and $42 for that, I would say, is a great buy. Cosmic Star Heroin is down to a measly $3. That is an awesome buy. Old school JRPG right there. Really good mechanics, good presentation style. And overall, I would say that's a really good buy as well. Dead or Alive 6 down to $36. Dead Rising games are discounted. Dead Rising 1, 2, and Off the Record are down to $6 a pop. Frank's Big Package is down to $20, and the Triple Pack can be had for $14.86. All of that is pretty good. Deus Ex Mankind Divided down to $4.49. We see that deal pretty regularly. I'm pretty strong on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I know some people didn't think that highly of it, and I myself found the game to be a little bit disappointing. But that's really because I had such astronomical expectations for this game. I love Deus Ex Human Revolution. I thought that game was phenomenal. And a follow-up to that title on next-generation platforms, of course, I was inherently going to have high expectations, and it quite didn't live up to that standard. However, if you do want a quality action RPG, you are going to find that within Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition is down to just $7.49. Would say that's pretty good. DMC4 is a little bit dated at this point, and it does have quite a bit of backtracking, which was an unfortunate reality of that game, and that really held it back from excellent. I've heard that that was from budget constraints. Whatever the case may be, that was definitely a deterring factor of the game, but for $7.49, I still think it's a good buy. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory is down to $12. Digimon World Next Order down to $12. Those are both good buys, especially if you're a Digimon fan. Dirt Rally 2.0 down to $18. Not a bad buy there. DMC Devil May Cry Definitive Edition is down to $14. Pretty decent there. Dragon's Crown Pro is probably one of the better deals as a part of this entire sale. That's down to just $14. Dragon's Crown was 
was, of course, a PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita game. DC Pro makes it even better. Better visuals, more content, all that good stuff, but the fundamental Dragon's Crown experience is intact, and $14 for that is really good. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, down to $15. This was a great game that was released on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 back in 2012, uh, or 2013. Memory is a little bit foggy at this point, but it was a great game back then. The only issue with it, really, was from a technical standpoint, given that the last generation consoles were reaching their end at that point. Dragon's Dogma was handcuffed a little bit by that limitation. However, now on the PlayStation 4, those handcuffs have been completely removed. Dark Arisen adds more content, and $15 for it is great. Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition is $14. If you want some Dynasty Warriors action, that is not a bad buy. God Eater 3 is down to $24, and given that that's a relatively recent release, I would say that's really good. The game definitely had its limitations, but overall, if you want an anime-styled Monster Hunter experience, that's pretty good. God Eater Resurrection, that's God Eater 1 redone for the PlayStation 4, that's down to $4, and God Eater 2 Rage Burst is down to $12. Greedfall, the recently released narrative-driven RPG, is down to $35. That's 30% off, given that the launch price was $50. I thought the game was pretty good. Um, It's just one of those games that you do have to go into it expecting a lower-budget RPG. That really shines through from the get-go, but overall and fundamentally, I would say it's a well-done RPG, and it's definitely Spiders' best game thus far. Spiders, of course, the guys that brought you Technomancer and Mars Warlogs. I thought Greedfall was definitely on another level, so hopefully they can continue to build upon that. Ideally, I would say pick up Greedfall at $20 or less, but at $35, if you do want a quality RPG, I do think it'll fit the bill. Just Cause 3 is down to just $5. That's a really good buy. Kingdom Come Deliverance, for those of you guys that want a historical RPG, that's down to $14.99. Ideally, I would like you guys to pick up Kingdom Come Deliverance, the complete edition, definitive edition, whatever they're calling it. It's the game with all the DLC, and the DLC is quite good, so that would be ideal. Otherwise, the base game for $15 isn't bad. Injustice 2 Legendary Edition is down to $20. $24, that's not a bad buy. Mad Max down to $4.79. A lot of the Mega Man stuff is supremely discounted. Mega Man X Legacy Collection down to $9.99. X Legacy Collection 2 down to $9.99. The Originals Legacy Collection is down to $5.99. And Legacy Collection 2 for the Original is down to $9.99 as well. Some good deals there if you want some Mega Man on the PlayStation 4. Metal Gear Solid 5, the Definitive Experience is down to $9.99. Would say that that's a very good deal. MGS 5 plus a bunch of bonus content for $10. That's a great buy. Mega Man 11 also down to $15. Going back to Mega Man for a second, and Mega Man 11 was a terrific game. $15 for that, I would say, is quite good if you do want a modernized take on Mega Man with still some of that old school flair. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, that's the remaster for Nino Kuni 1. That is down to $30. Given that that's a really recent release, it came out, what, just a little under two months ago. That's really good, and I would say Nino Kuni 1 is a better game than Nino Kuni 2. I could go into a whole video about that, just know it is a quality JRPG, and $30 for that I would say is quite good. Naruto titles are discounted a little bit. Storm 1, Storm 2, and Storm 3 all discounted. $5.99 a pop. Storm 3 is really good, as is Storm 2. Storm 1 left a lot to be desired from a single-player standpoint, but still a decent little title. And I thought I'd mention that as well. Okami HD down to $9.99. You guys know if you follow this channel how I feel about Okami. It is a tremendous game, and $9.99 for Okami HD. Hell yeah, that's gonna get a strong recommendation from me. Outward, the relatively recent survival title is down to $16. Not a bad buy there, although Although the game isn't perfect. Project Car is down to just four bucks. That's really good. Got some discounts on the Resident Evil titles. Resident Evil 0 down to eight dollars. Resident Evil 4 down to eight dollars. Resident Evil 6 down to eight dollars. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard down to fifteen dollars. Some good deals all around there. I see Torchlight 2 down to fourteen dollars. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition down to six dollars. Battlefield 1 Revolution Edition is down to just $9.99. That's a really good buy. Yomawari Midnight Shadows down to six dollars. That's really good. And a ton of other deals are available on top of that. Try to go through this a little bit quickly. I will do a more in-depth video taking a look at the best deals available uh, as I have a bigger chance to sit down and really assess what are the best deals. I also want to note Zone of the Enders, the second runner Mars, that's down to $12, so that's a really good deal as well. Remember that this is the PS Plus double discount sale, but on top of that, we do have the Halloween store sale, so if you couple both of them, there are some great deals to go around, some really, really stellar pickups, so I would recommend a lot of these titles. Have a look at it for yourself. You could probably find some games that really tickle your fancy, and again, Check out the Halloween sale. A lot of titles are on sale as a part of that. And I do believe, based on the list that they have on the PlayStation blog, there's actually a little bit of crossover with what's available as a part of this sale and what's available as a part of the Halloween sale. I don't know if they did that accidentally. Whatever the case may be, just know 
a ton of sales available over on the PlayStation Store. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.